Can I do that right? Can you see? <laughs> All right. Well, in our lives, we periodically hear reference to the real world, which is a readily understandable concept to many of us. Its meaning changed for me, however, through participating in FBC's discussion engagement group, emanating from studying Ibram X. Kendi's book, How to Be an Anti-Racist. Members of this group decided, as Brent mentioned, that we'd like to share with you some of what we've been learning Thus, I'm starting this process this morning with my reflections. Much of the tumultuous difficulties in our country today may well stem from widespread belief in that simple phrase that there is only one real world, which whether conscious or not, absolutely would be considered by most to be a white world. Kendi helped bring alive for me that there is no one real world, rather there are real worlds. We know slavery was a horrendous reality in US history, but we can think it's over. Plus we had no personal responsibility in it, so it's time to get over it. But racism has not been eradicated, even to this point all these years later in 2020. We now hear a new phrase increasingly common these days, white privilege. What many of us haven't realized until recently is that we have benefited from the brutality of oppression. For many of us, our ancestors could get a good education, could get a well-paying job, could build equity in a nice home, and could leave an inheritance to give their children a head start in their lives. That is one real world. Another real world? People of color were in schools given inadequate and poor quality supplies. People of color would be forbidden to enter a library to borrow books. People of color were forced to accept low paying jobs. People of color could serve our country in a war, but return to be refused the same help that white veterans received to help pay for college or home. People of color were turned away from purchasing homes and left to neighborhoods where polluting facilities would commonly be placed and cause them health problems. And people of color due to these various circumstances, couldn't build an accumulation of resources to pass on to help the next generation. Racist policies, whether purposeful or unwitting, do still exist today, the continue inequities, which members of the FBC engagement group are determined to now raise our voices to try to change. We would love to have your voice and your efforts with us as we evolve into an action group. We welcome and we need you. Within our world, we have different worlds of reality, cultures, talents, and needs. Let's be open to appreciating them, to listening, to asking questions, to building understandings, and to taking action for justice. To paraphrase yet another concept in the air today, in these extremely challenging times, let's remember that while we may be in the same storm, we are not at all in the same boat. Please be in touch and join us.